You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Inconceivable words. Today we are covering a word that I believe is misunderstood. A word that is used sometimes to explain things and it's not that it's wrong, it just doesn't have the depth to it. And it's a word that's been rediscovered in our Missouri Synod lately. President Harrison wrote a book on it, I think a couple books even. I love using it. It's the word joy. Joy. J-O-Y. Joy. What is joy? What does it mean to be joyful? What does it mean to rejoice? What does it mean to have joy? Now, most of the time, people kind of interchange happiness and joy, being happy with being joyful. And a lot of guys are like, well, we shouldn't do that. It's not the same thing. It's the opposite. You should never talk about being happy with being joyful. And I disagree. I really do. What does it mean to be joyful? What is joy? Joy is a deep-rooted essence and existence. It is the reality that we have been and are claimed by Christ Jesus, rescued, ransomed from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil. And because of this, we have now been given a disposition, a certain demeanor of joy, meaning no matter what happens to us, and this is the difference slightly between joy and happiness. Happiness is when you're reacting to something. You're happy when things are really good. Most people aren't happy when it's like raining outside. Some people are. Most people aren't happy like if you hit your thumb with a hammer, you're not happy. Or if you're in traffic, you're not happy. I actually like being stuck in traffic because then I can talk to people. They get weirded out, but I like it. But joy doesn't change with the surrounding environment. It doesn't matter what's happening to us. We still have joy. We still have delight. We still have this demeanor and disposition of taking pleasure in the things of God, in the things of this world. God has re rescued us from the world and put us back into it to live a joyful life. And when we look at the scriptures, where is this word used? Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice, says St. Paul. When the angel Gabriel came to Mary. He said, rejoice. And she said, well, this is a weird degree. He's like, rejoice, because you are the one that will bear the Christ. We see this word all over the place in the Bible, and it's always in relation to God doing his good work for his creation. So this gets back to what I mentioned earlier about joy and happiness. Are they really completely different? Well, no. If we have this joy, then we're going to be happy. We're going to delight. We're going to heaven when we die. We're citizens of the new heavens and the new earth because of Jesus. It doesn't matter what happens in this life. We know the end. We know the last page of the book. We know what's happening. There's no surprises. We know that no matter what happens, what comes our way in this life for good or for bad, it all ends in our favor because of Jesus. And that's joy. That is shown in happiness, but it's also joy that's shown forth in bearing burdens with our neighbor, that we now have the strength to bear crosses with people, to be with people in their time of sorrow, in their time of heartache, in their time of woe. For what does Jesus say? Your sorrow will be turned into joy. And he says this to the apostles right before he dies saying, hey, you will be sorrowful on Friday, seeing me dead, but your sorrow will be turned into joy when you see me risen from the grave. And we have the same thing. We have sorrow, but joy in Christ, a disposition of delight and pleasure in the things of God. That's what it means to have joy. That's what it means to have a joyful life. And that joy 
comes forth in many ways. As we have a happy life, <laughs> a joyful life with our neighbor and all that they bear. God bless y'all, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.